Hey everybody, it's Missy, doing the second part to the creative interface. There are two things I didn't really go over in the last video. I wanted to quickly brush it on with you so you weren't totally lost or missing some uh, information. Uh, I did update Krita to Krita 3.1.2, I think it is. Yeah, 3.1.2. Uh, I had some updates to the animation uh, section for Krita and some other bugs they worked out. So, wanted to make sure I had the most recent version to show you some cool stuff they added to the animation uh, layout. Alright, I'm going to go over the pop-up palette, so I'm going to make a new document. Real quick, you have predefined settings here, you can make your own, Just change it up, landscape, uh, portrait, content tab, it's back to where I want it. I have four empty layers, my canvas color is going to be the gray. You want the first layer, go ahead and switch to first layer. So, I'm going to create it. Cool. I got that taken care of. Oops. I'm going to layer one. Get out of there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, I'll just use purple. So I'm drawing. This is cool. Fantastic line. Some more scribbles. But I don't want to use this brush midway through the drawing for some coloring or blending or something. If I right click, um, I'm going to have this pop up palette show up. And these are colors I, I was playing with in a previous document I had open. Um, Yours may default to an empty uh, pop-up palette here with all these brushes. It might be like just these gray circles. Um, you can always change that by clicking on this little file icon. And they have a ton of options here. So we have sketch pens or, or uh, pencils. So it, let me use black. There we go. Let me zoom in. <laughs> Trying to show you. All right. You can see it's got a more pencil -y look to it. Got that. Oops. There we go. You can see it better. Um, my program's lagging just a smidge right now. My computer's been a little funny lately, so I apologize. Alright, so I'm going to right click again, and that's like the kneaded eraser, like those really fun ones you can make things with, those squishy ones. Those are fun. It has that nice soft eraser quality to it. So it's not completely gone, but it's not completely there. You have to just kind of keep working at it till it's gone. Which is nice. Um, you can make your own section here, but we're going to go over that in an actual brushes video. Um, I just want to kind of give you a heads up about the cool features that they have with the default. Um, I'm going to go back to favorite presets. This is a default. Yep, two markers, paintbrushes, erasers, and a pen. I threw in my own brush here. That's my, uh, yeah, that's mine. Um, right here is your color picker. I can change it in the pop up palette. And all of these out colors in the outer ring here are my most recently used uh, colors that I have. Um, while Krita has been open. So if I close Krita and I open it back up, this is just going to be black or white, depending on what color you use first. And over here in your advanced color selector, it's also going to show up in these little boxes here. Um, so if you don't want to use the pop-up palette, you just stick with the same brush, you can always come over here and pick those other colors you used in the past, I don't know, five minutes, I guess. Eventually, the more colors you, you use, they will eventually go away. So, let's just do the green. And uh, if you want to, when you pick a color or a brush, you can always click off and it'll disappear. Or what you can also do is take your cursor away from the pop up palette and right click. That way, um, that's probably why I cl clicked the wrong colors very frequently because I don't do that. I just kind of click and go and click away. So, yep, that's the pop-up palette. Oops. Try to see to get rid of that last color. Oops. There we go. So eventually it's going to go away. Cool. 
So that's the pop-up palette. Quick rundown of that. Uh, I'm gonna Control A. I'm gonna hit the Delete key. And get rid of all of this mess. I'm gonna hit sh Control Shift A and deselect. Yay! It's a nice empty layer again. So now the animation part. This is the fun part. This is like a huge deal for Krita. It's a huge deal for a lot of people. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, start your animation. Uh, the upper right, oops, the upper right hand corner, there's this box. If you click on it, you have all these different layouts or workspaces. I, obviously, we're on default. You can go into vector. And you got everything's just laid out for that. Big paint. It, they just have different names. No, give me that one. There we go. Workspace one. I think I did that. I don't know. I don't remember what I do in this program anymore. Alright, visual effects paint, small vector, default, alright, animation, whoa! Cool, so we're in the animation setting now, or animation mode, workspace, thing. Every So your color selector, as you can see, isn't here anymore. All this stuff over here is gone. Everything's on the left side of your screen now. Your tool options are still here. Let me put that back on. Your animation, or er, animation, your advanced color selector is still here. It's just kind of smushed together um, in the panels or the dockers. Your toolbox is still here. Your, if you want your specific color selector and sliders, they're still there. It's just all condensed in an easier way so they're not obnoxiously in your face while you're trying to animate. And down here, I'm going to actually expand this, is your timeline. So that's really cool. So, I'm just going to do a really, really quick rundown. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, you can right click and hit a new frame. I'm going to change my color to black. You can uh, make your your frames, your circle, whatever you're doing. I'm just doing random stuff. This is in by, by no means animationly correct. Don't think that's the word. So I made three keyframes. If you turn on the onion skinning, which is this little button right there, it's on. So the green are the two other frames in the future, or later on in the timeline. If you go to the last frame, the ones in the past or previous frames are in red. So you can um, change your onion skin settings by clicking on the onion here. Uh, you can change the tint if you want it 100 per like really red or kind of transparent. Uh, you can, I'm not too sure, oh, this uh, affects everything. I think if you don't want to really see it. Boop, boop. It's really weird. Alright, um, oh no, there we go. Uh, your next frame color, you can change it to a different color than green, or you can change it to a different color than red, such as, um, we'll just do like pink. So now that red changed to pink over here. Uh, this is the visibility. So if I don't want to see these previous frames like at all or not as much, I can just turn all of these down and eventually it will just kind of disappear. I don't think I have enough frames for that, but there we go. As you can see, it's fading away. Let's see. Try to see which one it affects the most. Okay, now you get the idea. As you can see, it's fading away. This is uh, frame zero, if you're on, like the current frame and the previous frame, how you want that to look. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about that either. I only have three frames, so a lot of stuff isn't really going to look the way it should. But the green is darker, so I so don't really want it that dark. Mm -hmm. Alright, so done messing with that. There we go. 
Um, in the layer section on your timeline, you can add an audio. If you open audio, oh man, this is old stuff. Alright, so I have my audio here. This is really old. This is something I had from way back when. So I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to hit play. Alright, that is really quiet. And I apologize. So I'm going to edit that. Uh, it's basically just rain that you can hear and nothing else is happening. Yeah. So, you can put audio in there. So if you have uh, some lip syncing to do, there you go. You can remove it. So I took it off. No, get out of here. Alright, it's gone should be gone. It's gone. Very good. Alright, so that's the basic rundown of the animation um, workspace. Oh, also, over here, on layers 1 through 4, um, every, all this will render out when you go to render it. And to render, you're going to go to file, render animation, you're going to name your file, you're going to pick a location, or pick a format to put it in and name your file, obviously. Mine's animation export. Uh, I just did like a hundred frames that I got rid of. So let me just open up my ball bounce that I did. This is a really bad ball bounce, but it's fine because it's a tutorial. Alright, render animation. I already got it named. I'm going to hit OK. Then it's going to take a couple minutes. Or a minute. So I'll fast forward the video so you don't have to sit through it like me. Alright, so that should be done rendering. But the folder you can see of my 100 frames have rendered. Uh, you can use a program called like DJ View or some other program to view it all as one animation. If you'd like, I'm not going to go over that right now. But at least you can see how it will uh, render. Close that. If you need your animation to be longer than 100 frames, just change your end uh, frame to like 160 or something, and then you can scroll through to the last frame. Ooh, come on, go. There we go. 159, 160. Cool. So, yeah, that's just, you know, really basic for the animation stuff. Might do something else with the tutorial, but in all honesty, I don't think I'm really going to use this feature very often in Krita. Maybe just to fool around with. Um, yeah, but if you do want me to do my ball bounce, like again, <laughs> I, I can do that. I have no problems with that. Oh no, it's lagging, I'm sorry. Let it finish. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Put that back at 100. There we go. Little ball bounce. So, yeah, if you know how to animate really well, you probably like scream at this because this is not how you do it. I literally did this all at random. Alright, but that's it. Um, any other questions about the uh, animation layout or the pop-up palette, go ahead and uh, ask me. I'm not sure what I'm going to go over next. Most likely brushes. Yeah, I'm going to go over brushes next. That way you guys can actually learn how to uh, use them. That'd be fun, right? Make your own custom brushes. Not sit there using one pen brush like me all the time. You want to do what I do. Nope. Alright, so that's it. Hopefully that, uh, oops. Hopefully that was informative enough for you guys and it wasn't too boring or too obnoxious or anything like that. Leave comments below. Do you have a link to Krita in the description? Also, I do have a Patreon. So if you want to toss a dollar my way, that'd be awesome. Helps me, uh, 
make videos faster to set time aside from my usual job. Yeah, thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.